New technology will make it possible to treat HIV with one injection. New research from Tel Aviv University points to a unique treatment for HIV-infected people that could be used as a vaccine or a one-off treatment for patients. As part of the work, the researchers reprogrammed the patient's lymphocytes to secrete HIV-neutralizing antibodies. The study was led by Dr. Adi Basel and PhD student Alessio Nermad, both from the George S. Y School of Neurobiology, Biochemistry and Biophysics in the Life Sciences Department, and the Dotan Center for Advanced Therapies in collaboration with the Suriski Medical Center, Ichilov. The results of the work were presented in the journal, Nature Biotechnology. Over the past two decades, the lives of many AIDS patients have improved with treatments that have transformed the disease from a fatal to a chronic one. However, we still have a long way to go to find a cure for HIV. Dr. Basel's laboratory is working on a one-time injection that could help treat the disease in the future. The new technique uses B lymphocytes, a group of agranulocytes called leukocytes that have been genetically engineered to secrete HIV-neutralizing antibodies. B lymphocytes are responsible for producing antibodies against viruses, bacteria and other diseases. They are formed in the bone marrow. Upon reaching maturity, they move into the blood and lymphatic system, and from there to various parts of the body. Dr. Basel explains that, so far, only a few scientists have been able to modify lymphocytes outside the body. In the new study, we were the first to do this inside the body and make these cells produce the desired antibodies, he says. Such a treatment is possible thanks to special viral vectors that have been designed so that they do not cause damage, but only introduce the appropriate gene-encoding antibodies to cells in the body. Furthermore, in this case, we were able to precisely insert the antibodies into the desired site of the B cell. All the animals treated with the drug reacted and had large amounts of the desired antibody in their blood. We also produced antibodies from their blood and made sure that they were actually effective at neutralizing HIV in a laboratory dish. Genome editing was performed using the CRISPR-Cas9 technique. It is a technology based on the bacterial immune system against viruses. Bacteria use CRISPR systems as a sort of molecular searcher to locate viral sequences and cleave them for disposal. The two biochemists who discovered this sophisticated defense mechanism, Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Doudna, were able to redirect it to cut DNA at will. Since then, Technology has been used to turn off unwanted genes or fix and insert desirable genes. Doudna and Charpentier gained international recognition when they won the 2020 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. We combine the ability of CRISPR to deliver genes where desired with the capabilities of viral carriers to carry genes into cells, explained study co-author Alessio Nermad. In this way, we are able to engineer B cells in the patient's body. We use two viral carriers, one of which encodes the desired antibody and the other encodes the CRISPR system. When CRISPR crosses the desired site, it also directs the insertion of the desired gene. This gene encodes antibodies against the HIV virus, he explains. Scientists explain that there is currently no genetic cure for AIDS, so the research opportunities are huge. We have developed an innovative treatment that can defeat the virus with a single injection, which can bring a huge improvement in patients' health. When the modified cells come into contact with the virus, the pathogen stimulates them to divide, so we use the very cause of the disease to fight it, Dr. Basel concludes. Furthermore, if the virus changes, 
The B cells will also change accordingly to fight it. So we have created the first ever drug that can evolve in the body and defeat viruses in an arms race. Based on this research, we can expect that in the coming years we will be able to produce a cure for AIDS, for other infectious diseases and for some types of cancers caused by viruses, such as cervical cancer, head and neck cancer and others, concludes the scientist. Young octopuses develop mysterious organs that are lost without a trace over time. Internal organs grow and change throughout life, but they rarely disappear without a trace. In the case of small octopuses, things are not so simple. These are unusual, temporary, microscopic structures called polykas, KO, organs. They grow in the octopus embryo but they disappear over time. Today, researchers are closer to solving the mystery of these unusual organs. Colica's organs, KO, cover the entire body surface of the tiny octopus. First, they hide in pockets in the leather, and then pull out like folded umbrellas. Any of these similar structures can open to reveal a bundle of bristly fibers. Why is this happening and what are the disappearing organs for? New insights from recent research have been published in the journal Frontiers in Marine Science. Sometimes cos look a bit like brooms. And when they open they look like dandelion flowers, explains Roger Velen Weber, a researcher at the Institut de Chancis del Mar of Spain's National Research Council, who is the lead author of the new findings. Biologists have known about the colica organs for decades, but no one has been able to say for sure what they are for, or why octopuses completely lose their set of bristly appendages long before they reach adulthood. In the new study, scientists analyzed the embryos of 17 octopus species using special microscopes. The samples were first immersed in a liquid and then irradiated to obtain an image of hardly visible structures. Of the 17 species studied, 15 had co. The other two are representatives of animals that are born relatively large and spend their entire lives in the depths of the oceans. All individuals with colica organs are born very small and stay close to the surface until they reach adulthood. The team found that COS are evenly distributed throughout the body of young octopuses and tend to be the same size regardless of the size of the embryo. It was also found that when all colica organs are fully open, the animal's body surface area increases by two-thirds. The findings may point to the mysterious purpose of CO, the researchers say. We believe that these organs can be used by juvenile octopuses to change the ratio of body surface area to volume, explains Velen Weber. Thanks to the ability to significantly increase or decrease the surface area of their bodies, young octopuses may be better adapted to resist ocean currents. Such a feature seems to be extremely useful in the case of small animals that are exposed to strong currents when swimming close to the surface of the water. Researchers speculate that unfolding or hiding the co may help the young conserve energy. But there is also another possibility. Researchers point out that already in 1974 in the journal, Aquaculture, the ability of Co to refract light, similarly to crystals, was described. This ability can help blur the contours of juveniles in the water, making them harder for predators to catch. This would explain why colica organs are not found in deep-sea species. Light does not reach them so such camouflage is simply unnecessary for them. Despite the new discoveries, scientists say the true purpose of these unusual disappearing organs remains a mystery. Future observations of octopuses hatching in the wild could help biologists get closer to solving the co-mystery. 
For now, researchers are happy to share the unusual beauty of small cephalopods, especially since Polyca's organs had never been observed so closely.